Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for episode number 3 of the Career Mode Project. Of course, a series where I go through all 15 seasons of FIFA 15 Career Mode with a heck of a lot of potential in the young players I have in my squad to basically see what stat they can get to by the end. And of course, we'll see some of the awesome goals they score along the way. Now, one question I've got to ask before we get into the video, would you actually like me to sign some of the players in the other section? Because I know I was getting that quite a lot in the comments section that I should sign, actually like buy these players so you can see their, uh, their highlights as well. So drop that in the comments section below some of the players that you see in the other section would you like me to buy them so you can see their highlights too and if so who but now we're going to go into the squad we do currently have and could of course be building on next episode as you can see there again the overalls have glitched slightly uh, so it doesn't come up with their pluses or minuses or pluses of course in this case you can you can see all that information in the comment um, in the description sorry below it has their growth since the start of the career mode one of the really big growers though this season was actually Leon Goretzka uh, himself and Ruben Neves did really well. Lazaro again was quite a decent grower there. I think he went up two stats this season, 74. Rafa now is on 82 at 24 years of age there. Divock Origi now up to 79 there, being 22 years of age. Of course, you can feel free to pause and see some of their specific attributes if you want, like Nicolas Sula's incredible 90 strength. Ricardo Kishner still not doing very well in terms of growth. He has gone up one though, 75. Brill Donald Mbono also on 75, but look at that, 20 years of age. Some of his stats are absolutely insane. Saying his growth has been fantastic this season. Patrick Roberts as well, another one who's grown very well by the end of season three, which of course we are now at. Fares Bas Luli again, I think he's gone up four this season. He's now up to 76 there at just 22 years of age. Pierre Emil Hoberg likewise up to 76 and now 21 years of age, with some also very good stats there with like dribbling curve, short passing, etc. Nicola Mura up to 75 there, he's 22 years of age and he is of course our left back. Lucas Hernandez, one of the best growers all series, he's gone up a, a total of I think 11 throughout this entire series. He's now on 74. Uh, Dali Sinkgrav and likewise, he's on 74 though at 21 years of age. One of the slightly underperforming players in the series in terms of you haven't seen much of him in the highlights, but he has been doing fairly well. Fabrice Ondo there on 69. He's gone up, uh, he's gone up three, I think. Uh, Nathan Redmond there on 77 there at 23 years of age with that 97 acceleration. Jean-Marie Dongu Safak there at 69. He's been underperforming a little bit there at 22 years of age. And likewise for Paul Nardi. So we're now starting to see some of the players who are doing well and their growth and they're fulfilling their potential and some of the other players who aren't really doing so well. May of course be sold if you want that as well. Feel free to say if you want players to be sold as well as if you want them to be bought. But now we're going to get into the highlights. And as you can see, Valentino Lazaro with one of the best assists all series because that is a Rabona cross into the box there and finished off by Ruben Neves, made by number 37, finished off by number 36, and that is a fantastic way there to start the highlights reel of season three. Now we're going to move on to the second goal, and this is Brill Donald Mbolo bursting forward in a pre-season game there from his own half, cutting inside and blasting it past the goalkeeper. One of the most bog-standard goals you'll see from our strikers because of how pacey and and just powerful they are, but now Leon Goretzka going forward, skipping past the challenge, and coolly slotting it past the goalkeeper. I did think he'd missed that, actually, but some nice dribbling to make that possible as well there. Now Hakan Chalyanolu, as I've now been told his name is pronounced, is going to give it out wide there to Roberts. Fantastic three touches there to cut inside, then to skip past the first player, and then unleashing that side-footed strike there through the legs of the other defender and past the goalkeeper. Really nice goal, actually. A lot better, a better goal than you think it actually is because of that other touch as well there to get past the player. Some nice agility being shown there by Patrick Roberts, but now some nice strength and agility being shown by Dongu Safak there, holding off one defender, skipping past another and blasting it past the goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance for the Admira Vaca goalkeeper there and blasting it past him. Very nice finish there from Dongu Savak. Not got the best growth or stats at the minute, but his in-game stats are very, uh, you know, very good indeed. Not quite very. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but still now Nicola Muru, our left back, has been sent forward and what a calm and composed finish that was. A lovely team goal there. Muru set through on goal and our left back with a very calm finish there through the legs of the goalkeeper. But now it is a Hakan Chalyanolu free kick. You knew it was coming. What a free kick that is. No chance yet again for the goalkeeper. Almost skimming the roof of the net. I don't even know that's possible. No chance for the goalkeeper. Up and over the wall. And just another fantastic goal there from the Turk. But now moving forward. An open defence there for Mbolo to, to exploit. 
Calm and composed finish there, just slotting it past the goalkeeper to make it 2-0 in that game. But now Dongu Safak is going to set away, or is going to set up Hoberg. He goes past one player and unleashes an incredible strike. What a goal yet again. Pierre-Emil Hoberg yet again scores a fantastic goal from a good 20 yards out like he did in Season 2. The technique on that strike is absolutely fantastic. Goalkeeper not even close. And well, I think that's the best goal of this season's of this season one of the best goals of the series so far absolutely stunning there another long shot from Pierre Emil Hobo but now you're gonna see the best chance that was almost incredible Rafa with some incredible skill down the wing puts it in there from Bolo and the bicycle kick hits the bar imagine if that had gone in unfortunately not a goal but what a highlight nonetheless and now Rafa there with a lovely dinked finish over the on on rushing goalkeeper there to make it, I don't know what the scoreline was in that game, but Leon Goretzka is about to give us lead against Admir Avaka. Fantastic turn and blasting it past the goalkeeper there. Really nice finish actually from Goretzka, whose long shots aren't fantastic, but his overall shooting is, as soon as he gets within the box, he's absolutely lethal. And as you can see, a fantastic strike there past the goalkeeper. But now Chalyanolu giving it to Dongu Safak, who's been involved in a lot of goals in this episode. He gives it back to Chalyanolu, and yet again, it is blasted past the goalkeeper to make it 5-0 in that game against Rapid Vienna. This team is starting to get a lot better, now starting to get quite visually better as well in terms of pace and all that sort of stuff. Divock Origi there going past the player and blasting it again past the goalkeeper after a very nice team move there. And now Fadez Bahluli is going to get the ball. He's going to feed it through there to Leon Goretzka and he just scoops it over the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper there in that Champions League game. And uh, yeah, it seemed like a very easy goal, but it was very nice nonetheless there. And Chalianoli with a fantastic burst of pace there to get past that defender. And he slots it in to make it 2 in that game. All the players now starting to have, uh, starting to have quite a lot of pace there. Divock Origi though. Killing the ball there, fantastic touch, and then dinking it over the keeper as well. So some very nice goals then in Season 3, and the uh, and the players starting to get quite visibly better, it has to be said. Now we're going to move on to the others. There were so many, you guys actually went ham in the comment section last time. So just feel free to pause on any player you want to see specifically, because I don't think I've even got time to talk over them. There's 22 players you requested from last time, so... Yeah, so there you go. So that so each of the players will be up for about five seconds, and you can feel free to pause the video at specific players that you either requested or players that you're interested in looking at. You can see Alvaro Vadijo, that is after Callum Chambers, Eric Palmer Brown, Harry Maguire, and Luca Morone. Uh, Eric Palmer Brown's growth is fantastic. He's up to 70 now. There you can see Yuri Tielemon, the uh, the wonder kid there, 79 stat, 20 years of age. Raja Nango on there at 84 stat. Dennis Preyet, another Andalect player there at 77 and 23 years of age. Robbie Brady there, 73 and 25 years of age. Of course, he was from episode one that you guys requested him. A new request there, Jack Grealish, the Aston Villa winger there, 73 stats and 21 years of age there from the Irishman. Jordan Ibe as well, who for some reason plays for Derby County on this game. I don't know why. I've that signed. I'm not entirely sure. He's 71 and 21 years of age. Clifford Abugai. I don't know if I pronounced that right. He plays for Granada. He looks a very good player. I never heard of him, actually, when he was suggested to me in the comment section last time. He looks very good, as does Paolo Dybala, 79 stat. He's looking absolutely awesome there. And Bayern Yang as well, who I know from my West Ham career mode. Juan Manuel Iturbe, though, their 87 stat. Absolutely awesome. He's just... I mean, that would be incredible. He's incredible. That's absolutely ridiculous. Alexander Mitrovic there, 77 stat. James Wilson at 70 there for Manchester United. Danny Ings at 73 there, 24 years of age. Some awesome sprint speed. 98 sprint speed. I don't even know he's that quick. It's absolutely insane there. Wissam Ben Yadair there of Leon. He's 81 stat, 26 years of age. Now, this guy interests me the most. Yusuf Poulsen there. 79 stat and 23 years of age. He looks absolutely awesome. He's playing for Real Madrid. He actually plays for... Ah, who did he play for on the game? I can't remember who he plays for on the game there, but as you can see there, Felipe Anderson of Lazio and Nicola Sansone there of Sassuolo rounding things up. But yet again, if you want me to sign some of those players, especially Poulsen and Tielemon, I would love to sign those guys and see how they play uh, in actual real games and see some of their highlights. If you want to see that, uh, link, leave that in the comment section below with the players that you would actually like me to sign. In the meantime, I hope you've really enjoyed this episode of the Karimo Project. Feel free to drop a like if you did. Comment about enjoying it if you enjoyed the video that much, as well as your suggestions for players now to sign, as well as to leave on the others list. Subscribe if you are new around here as well. But it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.